Hi folks, me again. This is um, to redeem myself from my last video where I forgot the name of this tree. It's just a brain fart, but this is a uh, Lingnum Vitae. Lingnum Vitae. L-I-G-N-U-M. Ling? L-I-N-G? N-U-M? Yeah, Lingnum V-I-T-A-E. So the name of the tree is basically the Latin name of it. And uh, right now it's in bloom, which is nice. Makes these cute little purple flowers. The bees like it, as evidenced by the bees. <laughs> it is a Florida native tree, Caribbean tree, but most of the Caribbean species, uh, in terms of plants, are, are considered uh, Florida natives. And it is a very slow growing tree, so. Um, this tree is probably uh, five years old, maybe. Um, yeah, I think we planted it probably uh, four years ago. And it was probably half of the size, maybe. Yeah, it was, it was definitely smaller than what it is. So if you, it's kind of hard to see it, I know, and contrasting with the, uh, with the other foliage, but but that's really the, the tallest it is, is maybe eight feet right now. And it's a super slow growing tree. It's great to uh, put in your garden where you've got a nice little spot. It'll get some sun, but you don't need a lot of room. It stays small. Um, if it gets a little, like if it starts to grow out, you can snip back little branches here and there. Um, but it's a beautiful little tree. It's got these cute little leaves. Uh, all year round this one's starting to drop a little bit but like like in Florida uh, we drop our leaves in spring not the fall so if you see a lot of leaf drop in spring and you're like wondering what's going on that's just how Florida is a lot of the native trees drop their leaves in spring because the new growth comes and they got to make room for the new growth so the old leaves drop so anyway this is a right now it's beautiful specimen lingnum vitae Florida native doesn't take a lot of room highly recommend you plant it in your garden uh, and you can get it at pretty much any nursery. All right, that's it for now. Take care.